Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched an episode of Atlantis. It was the most recent one. It was called The Dying of the Light. And then the previous episode, unfortunately, Medusa <coughs> lost her head, quite literally, by the hand of Jason. It was after Jason had the revelation that Pasiphae was his mother. Yeah, that would make you turn into a psychotic lunatic at a moment's notice, knowing that this bitch was your mom. Yeah, I, a vindictive bitch, I should, I should say. Um, uh, we meet Icarus in this particular episode. I love the the actor who plays him. I thought, oh, he's perfect, and I thought I want to hug him and I want to kiss him all over. I just, I, I've always, I'm a big fan of interpretations of Icarus because that that particular story and mythology has always fascinated me. I especially like um, the cartoon version. I, I used to, when I was in college, I used to kind of pretend that I was. Icarus, and I know that I, I actually went by that nickname. I was like, oh, just call me Icarus. You know, I'll, I'll go by that. And maybe, I don't know, I, maybe people thought I was a little bit goo goo, but I, I kind of, I, I wouldn't fly too close to the sun. I like the idea of flight. I wouldn't fly too close to the sun, but um, I, I relate to the idea of wanting to transcend this this world and go for, for the truth, truth with a capital T. But anyway, I'm, I'm sidetracking, and I'm going off into another area entirely. But the episode in and of itself is, fo is focused more on Hercules kind of wrestling with the idea that Jason is darkening. His his heart is becoming black because of what the Oracle said. And what the Oracle is saying is, is coming true. So <laughs> they're kind of stuck in the creek without a paddle, basically. And... Through the help of Icarus, and Icarus actually becomes a traitor, which I, I was kind of angry about that, but I, I sort of knew he would just because of Daedalus being in prison. I thought, yeah, if, if your father's in prison, you'll go to any lengths to get him out, even betraying your friends. But um, he uh, he gives them, he gives Pythagoras the map in order to, to go to um, the forest to, to find... Uh, Ibsen, and Ibsen is Jason's father, and Ibsen is a leper. They call them the unclean, and um, he's, the, the oracle actually foretelled, if you reunite <coughs> Ibsen and, and Jason, then they will, he will be led more t toward the light than he is currently following the, the dark path. If he continues down this dark path, he, there's no turning back and, and all will be lost because in him lies the hope of Atlantis as we've uh, learned in, in this particular series <coughs> and so far it's I've it's been really excellent and um, I love the, I love the exchanges between um, the manure guy and <laughs> Icarus and Pythagoras and him passing the guard is a lovely night for isn't it in the, the Scottish accent and I thought yeah it's interesting that they would have a Scotsman kind of stuck in the middle of um, the Mediterranean well uh, our border made this come it's like oh, does everybody have a British ac British accent or Scottish accent or, or Irish accent because the cast is from the British Isles and normally as a purist I would find this very 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 irritating but I'm not really that much of a purist uh, I love the show I love the actors and I especially adore Icarus because <laughs> I think he's absolutely tremendous and I just want to hug him um, my kindred spirit but um, what, I, what I find is um, this particular episode of Pacify just continuing to be pacify and um, the the relationship between Jason and Adriadne is starting to drift apart and I thought no please no then of course they shot my ship down and I was not happy with that I thought no my ship you sunk my ship Ooh, how dare you sink my ship but um, I won't be mad too terribly much um, <clears throat> They've introduced a new ship, which I like even better, and it's um, Cassandra. I think her name's Cassandra. I 
think that's Cassandra. I don't know if it is Cassandra or not. But she is actually for the good. She's with Pasiphae, but um, <clears throat> she's a sorceress, and she can heal, and it's interesting. <coughs> but she and Jason have a thing, and it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Um, I don't know if we'll see any more of Telemon. I doubt if we'll see Telemon like we have in the past. It was it was nice to see Telemon. I, I like Telemon, but um, he wasn't he wasn't involved in this episode. We we got new characters like Icarus and Daedalus, and I'm hoping that Daedalus will be freed <coughs> and we get to see more of Icarus. Um, Medusa's dead, sadly. And what what, what um, Adriani said, what I thought was very profound and poignant. She said, "Don't let her death be in vain." I thought, absolutely, just don't don't be cantankerous and and don't be argumentative about it because arguing is going to get you anywhere. And she's the one that's the voice of reason and points that out. And he, of course, Hercules sits down with JC. He says, "I don't want to or I don't want to fight with you, and I don't want this to come to a battle." And I don't want uh, Medusa to have perished and, and for naught. And I loved her. And then he said, but did she love you? And he got really red-faced. And I thought, ooh, son, I would backhand you so hard that your great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-
I, I actually enjoy what I'm doing and I, I get a lot of pleasure out of doing hard, hard work that <laughs> normally um, would be considered menial and um, rather monotonous by other people's standards, but it's actually giving my mind a lot of room to roam, which I really like because my, my mind my, my mind is always creative and uh, I'm going to be posting a, a, a parody here um, not not to not to uh, pro to probably tomorrow uh, it was based on a song I heard at work I thought yes this is what I want to do I've never written a song like this before I made a parody like this before so I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that's all I'm gonna be up to and until next time live long prosper Johnny <laughs>